in this video we will be discussing something more about the decoder in the last video we dis, uh, discussed a simple 2 cross 4 decoder and in this video we will discuss that a decoder with a NAND gate so that is one important thing another one is with a enable input so two more things we are going to add in the discord, uh, decoder discussion so why the enable pin will be added so you can see in the input we are adding one more um, input variable that is enable here so this enable is added to improve the functionality of the decoder that means if enable is signal is there then the decoder will work if the enable signal is not there then decoder will not work and when you are talking about NAND gate the truth table becomes exactly opposite to the uh, AND gate uh, uh, decoder so if you see the previous video so there we have used a AND gate and what the difference is there I will just tell in this so see this line we will discuss later so first see enable pin is 0 so if there is a AND gate so generally in AND gate if 1 is there then the output is 1 but in case of NAND gate it is opposite so if 0 is there then the output is 1 consider so that is why whenever enable pin is equals to 0 that means in all these cases my decoder will be working when enable pin equals to 0 so the first input is if the inputs are 0 0 ok so if the inputs are 0 0 then the d0 output will be equals to 0 and all other outputs will be equals to 1 ok in the previous case what we have done previous case was this d0 output will be 1 and all other output was 0 because that uh, there I was using a AND gate but whenever there will be a NAND gate it will act oppositely so it will the D0 the corresponding output of the input will be 0 and other values will be 1. So next if the input is 0 1 so it corresponds to D1 so D1 value is 0 and all other value you can see they are taken as 1 here. So next is if the values are 1 0 that represents d 0 so d 0 value will be 0 in this case and all other values will be equals to 1 similarly for 1 1 d 3 will be equals to 0 so now these are all cases when enable pin is equals to 0 if the enable pin becomes 1 then what will happen whatever the value of a and b that means it does not matter or do not care all the values will be 1 1 1 1 this is similar to if you take uh, uh, and gate then it will be 0 0 0 0 ok so this is the logic of a NAND gate decoder so whenever the input enable pin input is 1 then all the output will be 1 that means the decoder is not in the working mode for working mode the corresponding output should be 0 so in this case we will say that the decoder is not working now how the circuit diagram block diagram will look like so the block diagram is very similar to that we have done in the previous video only thing is that one input is added enable pin here to this particular decoder now how to write this expression so to write this expression what i need so first of all i need to write the corresponding output so because it is a nand gate operation so here d0 is 0 so when d0 is 0 so d0 is 0 when the inputs are a dash b dash right so let us see so this is d0 now d0 is equals to so this point is a dash and this point is b dash so d0 is equals to a dash so this is 1 and b dash is connected through this so whenever a dash and b dash are 0 0 so whenever this values are 0 0 sorry So what we will get here is whenever the values are 0 0 so when the values are 0 0 here so a dash b dash will be 1 and this will be equals to 1 ok in that case so what will be the output of d0 so these two cases are 1 and we are taking e as 0 as well so we are considering that it is operating when e is equals to 0 so e is equals to 0 here so here it is 1 so this input will also be equals to 1 so when all the input to a NAND gate is equals to 1 then the value is equals to 0 so this is working right so next is if what will be the value of d1 so d1 that means wherever the 0 is there I have to write that so that is a dash b so a dash b is my d1 so see d1 I have connected it so 1 is a dash and 1 is b here ok so this point is connected 
so and another one is connected as the enable pin so if enable pin has to be one here so that it can work with uh, um, the decoder is enabled there similarly we can write d2 is equals to a b dash and d3 is equals to a into b so let's check for d3 so d3 is you can see here so this is a and uh, this one is b and enable pin is connected here right so now whenever the enable pin is equals to 0 then the decoder will work okay in the first case when this inputs are 0 0 then what is happening to the other input other output let us see also so d1 is connected to a dash that means this value is 1 then it is also connected to b so b is 0 so if this input is 0 see if one input is 0 then the output is 1 similarly here also it is connected to a here right so a value is 0 so we will get 0 here so next so if any value is 0 we will get 1 here again we will get 1 here simply so we are getting 0 0 1 1 1 so that is what my truth table is also saying 0 sorry this one 0 1 1 1 now if the enable pin is equals to 1 so what will happen if the enable pin is equals to 1 then this value will be 0 now for all the and gate at least one input is equals to 0 ok in that case what will happen so it will give me all values as 1 so there is not possible that I can get any value as 0 so all value will be 1 so if at least one input to the AND gate becomes 0 then the output becomes 1 that is what property of AND gate so this is how a enabled uh, data enable or we say enable input decoder is designed with a NAND gate now if the question comes that enable input with a AND gate then what you can do so let me just uh, uh, write the truth table so it will d so a b and enable pin is there so what will happen let me just erase this so d0 d1 d2 and d3 will be there so i know when 1 1 is sorry, 0 0 is there so this is 1 0 0 0 this is i am doing for a simple and get 0 1 so 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 sorry, 0 0 1 0 1 1 it is 0 0 0 1 so here enable pin values will be all 1 ok when the enable pin is 0 then whatever the value of a and b does not matter all the output will be equals to 0 the so same thing can be designed in the logic diagram as well so that will not be very difficult so you can try this that after trying you draw the logic diagram and then you try whether it is working according to this particular logic or not so in next some videos we will discuss higher order decoders like 3 cross 8 and 4 cross 16 decoders